let's get straight to the gut. The more you fight, the worse it's going to get. And what I mean by that is there's more of us than you. Yeah, there's more Caucasian people out here than blacks. But it depends on what side they're taking. And, and, and the picture shows all over the world, they're taking our side. And when I mean our side, I mean the righteous side. And when I mean the righteous side, I don't mean this color. I just mean what stand up for what's right. What stand up for what's right. Because you got good white people and you got racist white people. Y'all racist, racist white people? Or who the fuck is racist? Y'all got to get the fuck up out of here. And it's happening. And it's happening. And it's showing. Everybody's taking the red pill. They, they've been quarantined. This, the, um, God bless George Floyd. But this, what's going on is stands for something. And I feel this protest needs to go on forever. Do not stop. Don't let go. Don't get interrupted. There's no sports. There's no nothing to interrupt the people's mind. They have been woken up. They've been woken up. They took the bread pill. And they see what's going on here. So um, whatever you want to do, you racist idiots, we are the majority. You are now becoming the minority, the so-called minority. Yes, you are. Because we have other races standing up for us, right? Guess what? They've been said. They did statistics. They said in a certain year, um, the majority... Of people going to be mixed in the United States. <clears throat> you lost. And guess what? The more you fucking lash out, because you know, racist people, racist people cannot hold their temper. And that's why in this protest, you see more of them, when we push, they get heated. They can't hold their temper because they racist. And it has so much built up anger, right? Individually, they could do their little thing here, there, all over the United States. But when everybody's pushing at the same time, they're getting hot in the head and they exploded. They exploded. So in this protest around the world too, expect to see the racist people explode. And you're going to see incidents going on all over the world, all over the United States. But flush them out. Flush them out all at one time, not individual time, all on the same damn time if they have to be so. Okay? Because guess what? All the people is on the same time now. Everybody's on the same time now. And that's what I like. So go ahead, make things worse. And for those people, um, listen, there was a bill passed by the House. I'm gonna talk. Alright, but you could get it. Right? It got passed. It's been sitting there. Memorial weekend for the eliminators. What lines with eliminators? Right? I'm just gonna play around here with this, right? Cause I don't want this shit shut down. The bill been there. Memorial weekend, they went on vacation. All of a sudden now they're gonna go on recess. Man, <laughs> they don't even wanna pass a lynch. Uh <laughs> yo, they don't even wanna pass this this. To, to, to abolish lynching. Yo, let me tell you something, man. Let me tell you something right now. They could play as hardball they want. The more they play hardball, the worse it is for them. You see Christopher Columbus <laughs> roll his ass in the river. You see all these statues, right? This is a sign of people's eyes waking up. <laughs> So there's a, there's a bill, and listen, I'm not Democratic, and I, like I said, I'm not Democratic, I'm not um, Republican, but I do see views on both sides that I, that I understand a little here and a little there, and I feel that sometimes this might work, but I'm an independent thinker, but guess this what, the People's, the People's Care Act been there, right, they've been passed on that house, the eliminators don't want to do anything to do it, okay, you don't want to do anything, um, they're sitting on it. You know why they're sitting on it? Because they have an agenda. They have an agenda. And the way I... This is my opinion. Like I pass gas. It's just opinion like I said, right? Like I always said. 
the way I see it, if I was the eliminators, well, let me let me put my let me put my thinking cap and let me sit down here in the eliminator seat. I see a virus, a coronavirus, and I'll never forget. Like I keep saying, don't you ever forget what this guy said on the eliminator side, Mr. Mitch McConnell from Kentucky, and this shit ain't finger licking good at all. He said, I am not bailing out blue states. So read between the lines. Remember what we said, read between the lines. These eliminators sit back and say, well, we got a virus. This is an opportunity to get rid of them. This is a great opportunity to get rid of them. If we could get rid of all these people, well, we don't have to help put certain things in bills to help people, give them food. Um, you know, we don't have to get all that. We could just let them all wipe out. Let's just get them out. Yeah, we're going to have some good people that's on our side. They're going to get eliminated too. But it's for the cause. It's for the cause. So I already see the big picture. It's rich against poor and middle class. That's it. That's it. And who is the poor? Majority blacks. Well, a lot of whites too. All right? <laughs> Don't let it twist it. Yeah, a lot of whites too, right? So, like I said, in this protest, we have a lot of mixed people in the protest. That's protesting for the right, for the being righteous. Okay? At the end of the day, it's what you stand for morally. That's what we fighting for at the end of the day. What you fight for morally. Or you on the evil side or you on the good side. Shit. All right? And these these eliminators, they gotta go, man. They gotta go. That bill been sitting there, and let me let's, let me get you to understand something. All right, like I said, I'm not a Democrat, but Democrats, when you made that People Care Act, you could have took out some of that cannabis shit. You know, you don't give the eliminators a reason to hold shit. Just leaving shit there for them not to do anything. Sorry, I'm not very articulate. I keep telling you that, all right? I don't have all the big words, okay? But I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to keep it simple. I'm not going to be these trickery big words and look like I'm fancy up in here. There ain't no fancy shit up in here, all right? But Democrats, you should have never put none of that shit in there. All you need to do is fool for the people. Snap. Um, 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 small business loans. Um... Uh, hazmat pay for the for the for the for the essential workers, right? Um, money for for for, for, the, for the local governments and and, and for police officers, um, EM, EMT, the nurses, the doctors, just enough to cover them to keep let them do their job. I ain't saying bonuses. I'm saying let them do their job. Okay? Yes, the essential workers are going to get what they deserve in this pandemic for that hazmat pay. That's the only thing, but you have to have you have to have these things to keep them afloat. Pass the fucking bill. So when I say Democrats, you did the right thing with putting everything in there, but you should have leave all that fucking cannabis shit and all these little in, 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 extra shit and just leave the crucial. So now, when you put the bill on the table, and the eliminators look at it and say, "Well, we don't have no reason why we can't," you know, because we have it's a pandemic and all these things, but. See, you don't give them a reason. So now, when they don't give them a reason and they eliminate the bill and say, well, we're not going to pass it, well, it shows more of the fuckery on their side. On their side. You see what I'm saying? You ain't fooling me, man. And you can't fool the people. We are changing history. We are changing. We are knocking the wall down. Yeah, we're knocking the wall down. We are changing history and we got to stay this way, man. We got to stay this way. We cannot let up. We got to put our fucking foot, our knee on their neck. And I don't care how long. I hope y'all, I hope this protest go on forever. If I have to. Okay? And, 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 and let's be small with these, prote these protests. Let's go on their lawn, on these rich areas. Let's go to these senator houses. This is how you really put the pressure now. We, 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 we did our own community now stuff. But now, 
It's time to go to their areas and put the pressure. Okay? I don't get it. We need stimulus. It's time to protest. We need stimulus. We need stimulus. We need stimulus. You get what I'm saying? Okay? All this fuckery about opening up. What happened now? What happened now? Everybody fucking open up. Yeah? Everybody fucking open up. Now look at the statistics of everybody in the South. And look at how up in, up in the North where we are, we had our numbers low. We had our number, and I said we had our numbers low. We still got our numbers low, yes? But after the protest, we don't know where it's going to be. It's not the protest fault. It's never the protest fault because it's, it's about meaning. It's about meaning and a cause. For all those brothers and sisters or anybody of color that got fucked up by the, by, by the cops, basically, okay? Native Americans, y'all all know what I'm talking about too, all right? So listen, I ain't trying to hear that. Y'all want to y'all wanna protest about opening up, opening up. Okay, your cunt is open now. Your cunt is open now. Look what happened now. Everybody getting affected. Everybody's getting affected. Right? In the South. They didn't want to listen to the people up in North. They didn't want to take their advice. Not to say the North is all right, but you learn, for example, just like how we learn from other countries' example when they open up too early. Or they thought they had the shit under control. What happened? Well, they had to shut shit down. And I keep telling people, these politicians, no matter what they say and try to reinvent everything, this coronavirus is going to kick them in the ass. Yeah, there's something good out of this coronavirus. Don't get me wrong. A lot of people dying, families dying and everything. But at the same time, it's Verona against politicians. And Verona's winning, man. Verona's winning, man. Okay? Because at the end of the day, you can say one thing, but guess who the boss is? Axe. Axe. Hospitals. I work at a hospital. And I see it. I don't care what nobody say, man. I see these bodies hitting the floor. I see these bodies hitting the floor. In the peak, up, up, up here north in, in New York, Brooklyn. In the peak. Motherfucker, there was four or five trailers here. There was two trailers there, four trailers there. I'm seeing them getting rolled in. I'm seeing empty stretches rolled out to get more to roll back in. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. I don't care about your conspiracy. There's a conspiracy for everything. I understand that. But don't tell me that my eyes is lying and I'm lying to you. Nah, it ain't gonna happen, man. Oh, you're gonna tell me in those in those stretches with those bodies that have white things, it's not real too? Get the fuck out of here, man. Get the fuck out of here, man. So now what's happening? They didn't want to look at how North was, was dealing with it. Listen, Andrew Cuomo said this. I'm just gonna lay down, I'm just gonna lay down the facts. That's it. I can't I can't arrest you for not having a, a mask on. I can just tell you the facts. And if the New York wanna get along, to get in the fit in, and they did. And the peak was going up, and the, it started here, then it went up, then it went back down, and it's back where it is. And we don't know in the next two weeks what's going to happen with this protest. If that's like a, like an incubation time, two or three weeks, if it's going to go raise up, just like how all those people was in the pool down south, all those people was on the beach down south, all those people down south was having corona, uh, Verona viruses. Well, they was drinking coronas, but they had the Verona virus. If you get what I mean, right? Yeah. Yeah, now all of a sudden, two weeks went by, everybody was in La La and thought everything was going to be all peaches and cream. Everything was going to be so fucking dandy, right? Now look at it. Look, 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 look what's going on in Florida. Look what's going on in these, these areas now, that everything was so fucking dandy. So fucking Dixie. Yeah, all right. Well, like I said, who's the boss? The hospitals and when those ICU ICU beds, intensive care unit beds, go all the way up, and they say, "Listen, listen, 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 listen we, we can't do this." Uh, um, you know what's gonna happen? Shut down, shut down, shut down. Simple as that. I don't give a fuck what a politician can say. I don't give a fuck what they got to say. Actions speak louder than words, bro. When those ICU beds are full. And you and they got and you see all these and damn God bless God, Florida. Oh my gosh, that's 
That's the state of all the elderly people. <sighs> Man, I feel so sorry for I feel sorry for human human nature. I feel so sorry for some people because some people, so including me, have to feel to learn. Some people get it quick. Some people don't. Okay. Some people get it quicker than others, and some people don't. So, yeah, I'm mad at people in the south. They didn't want to listen, right? In, in some areas, they didn't want to listen. They want to reopen fast and shit like that. But listen, I'm gonna end this like this. This vi virus does not discriminate. So, the way I see it, get rid of all those fucking hard-headed people, right? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm just sorry. They got to go. You know, this thing is flushing out a lot of people. And guess what? When I mean flushing out, I mean people that is hard-headed and didn't understand. But guess what? It's also flushing people with common sense and innocent people, too. So, you got hard-headed people. They didn't want to listen. They go home and they give it to the poor, poor, innocent. Man, I don't like I don't want to explain it. But at the end of the day, the strong will survive. I ain't talking about muscles. I'm talking about internally. The strong will survive. And, and, and let me tell you something. They won't. They so fucking hard-headed. They wrong and strong. They're going to stay open. They're going to push to stay open. And that's the sign. If they're going to push to stay open through this whole shit... You know what they're trying to tell you? Well, the strong survive and the weak will die. Get with the fucking program. That's the answer you're going to get. If these people are going to stay open while a lot, while ICU beds are full, hospital beds are full down there in those areas that didn't want to listen in the first place and then believe there was a, a, a virus or whatever, that's what's going to happen. And that's the end of it. It's, it's, it's human nature. The strong will survive. The weak will go, will, 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 will pass away. That includes my family. It might even include me. If, if, if I've died tomorrow from this shit, well, I'm here telling you, I wasn't strong enough. You know what I'm saying? It hurts. It hurts. Same thing with my family. It will hurt me. But life will go on. And that's what the that's what they're going to tell people. Well, not tell. They're going to show people, well, oh, man. Money, uh, virus, politics. Listen, life gonna go on, and it's so sad. It's so sad because if everybody was doing what they supposed to do, where they had to peak up here and they got it down, that's the example right there. So whatever happens in New York or wherever, all the protests around the world, and and, and everybody, or and, and it just it just starts to spread. It just starts to spread. At least we knew that New York. The home of the brave, where shit, everything goes down here in New York, it was here and it went up. And we, the people in New York, were strong enough individually to stand together and get that shit down. Well, that's an example. That's an example. And there's people that doesn't want to stick together and do their own thing. So, hey, it is what it is. And this is how I feel. But at the end of the day, it's righteous people of whatever color you are fighting against the evil people. That's it. It's always gonna go down like that. It's always gonna. Go. I'm sorry, I'm not articulate and make it sound so pretty, and you know, and I sound simple as fuck. But that's it. That's the way I see it. That's the way I see it. 